TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It is a procedure whereby that's minimally invasive, uh, where we change the aortic valve uh, using uh, a catheter um, with a valve crypt on it, and it is minimally invasive without the use of sutures. It's without an incision, and it's without the use of a heart-lung machine. To understand the, the history there, uh, for 60 years or more in cardiac surgery, aortic valve replacement was performed surgically. And this is an invasive procedure that involves a heart-lung machine uh, and is a four-hour operation. We have perfected that technique in that surgery and we achieved great results with standard surgical aortic valve replacement. Um, but the transcatheter approach is a minimally invasive alternative. The TAVR procedure is performed minimally invasively. In 95% or more of cases, we're able to approach the bloodstream uh, via the artery of the leg. Uh, we have a valve that's crimped upon a catheter, which we place through the artery of the leg, and we pass that valve on a catheter through the bloodstream into the doorframe, so to speak, of the patient's aortic valve. Once we have it positioned appropriately in that area, then we inflate a balloon that expands the new valve in the place of the prior uh, diseased valve. Replacement of the aortic valve is indicated uh, in patients who have either difficulty with opening or closing of their aortic valves. Uh, these conditions are known as aortic stenosis and aortic insufficiency, respectively. Surgical valve replacement can be utilized as a treatment method for patients in both of these categories. The transcatheter approach to aortic valve replacement is utilized in anyone who has a stenosis or narrowing of their aortic valve. In patients in this situation, the aortic valve doesn't open adequately and that inhibits the uh, appropriate blood flow uh, throughout the circulation. As a result, uh, the patient can have symptoms related to shortness of breath, dizziness, and chest pain. With the transcatheter treatment option, the new valve opens the orifice of the aortic uh, valve doorway to a point where the circulation is restored to normal. One of the major benefits of the TABR procedure is that because it's a, it's a less invasive technique, the recovery from the procedure is relatively quick as well. The procedure itself typically takes approximately one hour and postoperatively the patient uh, recovers in the hospital for less than 24 hours and after that the patient is typically goes the patients typically go home and recover at home uh, uneventfully and are back on their feet within days. One of the major strengths of the RWJ Barnabas Health System is their uh, patient-centered care and their attention to detail. There is a tremendous amount of expertise at RWJ Barnabas Health in the treatment of these conditions. Uh, we have assembled a uh, fantastic team of operators and uh, clinicians who are available to provide uh, services with great results to our patients. RWJ Barnabas Health, let's be healthy together.